AD had 14 points in the loss to the Raptors. He already has 22 points here tonight. What's changed? Awesome to see a great player bounce back, and his aggression was key. Going after offensive rebounds, getting out in transition, scoring on the post. He was really doing a great job of showing his versatility. As you see right there, the follow-up after KCP missed. And when you got Rudy Gobert on you, nice little face-up, take his time, mm. measure him up, knock it down. But the Lakers are going to need somebody else to join the party besides he and LeBron if they're going to get it done today. Already his 20th game this season with at least 20 points at the half. AD is making it happen. Oh, he's getting out. The big man got a steal Ooh. running gun with him. Get up, big fella. Second half coming. Last time that I checked. Welcome to Studio One here in New York City. Maria Taylor alongside Jalen Rose. Right now, the Lakers up just two on the Jazz. But guess what, Jalen? The Spurs are trying to play their way into the go eighth spot. We were Spurs, go. about them, all right? The 76ers had a 12-point lead going into the fourth. The score right now is 121 to 118. See, here's how it works. The Grizzlies, the Pelicans, and the Kings, they have young bucks. Mm -hmm. The Portland Trail Blazers and the Spurs, they have seasoned vets. And ah. trust me, they want to get those playoff checks and that opportunity to play in the postseason. They're making it happen right now. DeMar DeRozan has 20 points so far. You see it now, 119 to 121. Raptors, the defending champion, Fred Van Fleet, 36 points, a career high. It was great to see him get going for three-point range. And the Raptors are so very deep offensively. Mm -hmm. Each player sometimes takes their night. Kyle Lowry's had his. Pascal Siakam has been a constant force. TJ, we tried to warn you. OK, coming <laughs> off that 53-point Friday night, Saturday, 34 points and 11 boards and a win over the Wizards. We'll take it. I love the power of television. Mm -hmm. I exposed to the world that he got traded for cash consideration, and his <laughs> wiki was changed immediately. <laughs> so not TJ, CC Warren. Cash, Cash consideration. consideration. 87 game, 87 points in two games. <laughs> Welcome back to NBA Countdown, presented by Mountain Dew. All right, let's check out tonight's three-point performance brought to you by Mountain Dew. The Lakers, we know they rely on LeBron James to create a lot of their offense, especially from beyond the arc. This season, Los Angeles has made 223 three-pointers that have come off a LeBron assist. And that's the second most in the NBA. So one thing we know for sure is he can drop dimes. He's leading the league in assists. Uh, welcome back the entire fam. Jalen's still here. We got mm -hmm. Uncle P and Jay Williams. Um, but it seems as though his scoring has dropped off a little bit since the NBA restart. Paul, what do you think LeBron is focused on right now as his team is continuing <clears throat> to ramp up and they're hoping to win a championship this season? Well, he's passive and this is by design. This is you got to understand. LeBron has the highest IQ in the game. So look, you're going to have expanded roles from guys like Alex Caruso, Caruso, Kuzma, Deion Waiters, J.R. Smith, with the absence of Rajon Rondo, Avery Bradley. He wants to see who he can trust out here going into the playoffs. And that's why you're seeing a LeBron James being so passive. He knows he has to be an aggressive once playoffs start. I mean, the Lakers are undefeated when he goes for 30 or more. So he's trying to see what he got in these last few games before the playoffs break. But I'm not worried about LeBron one bit. We know how fantastic LeBron and AD are. They're both all NBA. The only team that's going to have two members of the first team. If there is a concern is who's their closing lineup. No Avery Bradley. Mm. I saw Kyle Lowry go for over 30. I don't believe that happened if he plays. Their closing lineup that's been most frequent this year has only played 15 minutes together. 15 minutes! We know Brown and, Brown and AD are in that lineup. The other three, KCP, Caruso, and Dwight Howard. No Kuzma, yep. no Green. So therefore, that's what they need to iron out over these next few games mm -hmm. and in the early rounds of the playoffs. They'll be trying to iron that out here tonight against the Jazz. And Jay Will, we've seen him on our air a couple of times, and they have really struggled, especially offensively, only averaging 100 points per game in the bubble. Uh, what are your biggest concerns, or where do you see the most room for improvement right now? Yeah, MT, I actually think this is a great time to ask both Jay Rose and, and, and Paul this question because it's one that I've been watching over the last couple of years, especially this year, and I've been really trying to think through deeply when it comes to Donovan Mitchell. Now, he's averaging 24 points. He's averaging the most points in a Utah Jazz player uniform uh, than anybody else has since Carl Malone. But the real question that I find myself being conflicted about, is he a superstar? Like, I know he's a star. 
I know he's a really good player, but is he like a super superstar <clears throat> that we believe can take Utah to winning a world championship? Because at the beginning of the year, a lot of people, I know they lost bogey, and that's a huge loss for them from outside shooting perspective. And Jay Rose, I go to you first. Like, do, do you think Donovan Mitchell has the potential to be that guy to take Utah there, or will he just be a star? I think he has all-star potential, potential all-NBA performer if he's on a great team. But here's what I'll say about his future in Utah. When I look at a 2017 draft, the other max caliber players are Jason Tatum and Bam Adebayo. I see their futures with those teams. I don't necessarily see that with Donovan Mitchell in yeah. Utah. So, Jay, to answer your question, don't be surprised if when it's time for all those other guys to get extensions, that he doesn't sign one. I don't know if he's there long term to mm. be their best player. Mm. Right now, though, Donovan Mitchell uh, averaging a career high with Utah. Go ahead, Paul. Mm. Man, listen, is he a superstar? Yes. <laughs> By the criteria of this league, there's a lot of superstars in this league. But can he be the best player on a championship team, I think, is the question you want to answer. So, um... I'm not so sure. I think you have to be at least 6'6 six, six and up, just my opinion. But Donovan Mitchell is no question a superstar in this league. No question a superstar, no question an all-star. And coming up, we've got two Rookie of the Year candidates, and they're superstars. And they're a part of something way bigger. James Baldwin once said, not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. And that's certainly what these players are doing. You can see that the social justice messages that are on their jerseys now are still in existence. On the top, you see a message. On the bottom, you see their names. The Miami Heat taking on the Raptors. And well, Jalen, you've been talking about the Raptors, so I would like to move out of the way and just let you go on in on why we should all know their name. As they follow the lead of the WNBA, who had their message and Breonna Taylor's name on their jerseys as well, as you see them get out and transition, pile to Pascal Siakam with the lob. And how about this? There are 30 NBA teams, one black owner, Michael Jordan. He just only is the greatest basketball player of all time. Mm -hmm. One black president, Masai Ujiri of the Toronto Raptors. Oh, what a coincidence. The defending world champion. <laughs> Enough said. Drops pin. Raptors get the win <laughs> right there, 107 to 103. And the Raptors are on a six-game winning streak. And obviously, the games that are being played are in a bubble. Um, and that can be tough, Jalen. But what we know for sure is we've seen a lot of good content. There's a Twitter handle called the NBA Bubble Life. So they must be doing something right. Take a look at what the players have been doing to stay entertained. Hopefully this is enough. We can make our own documentary, but when we win the chip, our own 30 for 30. <laughs> Maybe it's genuine or not, or you would, again, welcome aboard, we'll be moving in probably about five minutes. I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of a hyperbaric chamber, but we have one here, and I'm gonna go try it out. This spaceship. It's almost full. I don't know what y'all been seeing on social media, my food looked nothing like everybody else's food. Like, my food was pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm just keeping it buck. My food was pretty good. Got some care packages. I love getting packages, man. Getting packages at the bar was the best thing ever, man. Finally got my golf club in, man. We got the heat. We got the heat. Shout out to Nike, shout out to Braun, man. The most comfortable shoes made right now, man. I'm telling you. Don't tell nobody. Randy Cousy, baby. Young Daddy, baby. Daniel. Daniel. Brownie Brown. What's cracking, bro? It's crazy. You can turn a ballroom into it. You can do anything in this world. <laughs> hey, AD, what's going on, man? Hey, stay sick. Whoa, that's, that's five and a half feet. Oh, <laughs> We're going to set the record. Heaviest Disney World fish. Ah, they alive, alive. Oh, my goodness. Bitch, just take a bite. I'm gonna throw you back, I promise. I ain't gonna eat you. I ain't gonna put you on Kuz's panini maker. And the fish got my arm without the hook. Let me find out the fish smarter than the fisher. We can catch a damn thing. I didn't see no fish. Jalen, do you fish? 
I have never been fishing. <laughs> Me neither, and we ain't doing it anytime soon. <laughs> we will be here on Wednesday. NBA Countdown will get you set for our doubleheader, and it will be the Thunder taking on the Lakers at 6.30, and then your nightcap will be the Nets taking on the Celtics. Jason Tatum still has a haircut, so I promise he's going to get buckets. <laughs> NBA Countdown will come your way at 6 o'clock on Wednesday. ESPN and the ESPN app. All right, the Lakers are a part of our nightcap tonight. LeBron and AD power the Lakers' chances this